What is the essence of preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ? Is it not to turn men to righteousness? To cause a change in behavior, a change in character? To win them over to God? Depopulate the kingdom of darkness? And populate the kingdom of God? That is the essence of preaching the gospel. To bring men to God's side. Win souls. Change them. You preach to someone that uh, was a thief, he changes, he stops stealing. He becomes a good person. Accepts Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior. Is that not why we preach the gospel? And you, the preacher of that gospel, is supposed to be an example to the people you are talking to. So when you now do the things you accuse people of, they start looking at you in another way. Why were these people fighting? <laughs> well, you're welcome back to OZK TV. I hope you are keeping safe. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you so much. You have seen these clips. I are still watching it. What do you think? What do you think about these two people? A man and a woman fighting over a spot, a preaching spot in Ikeja. As big as Ikeja is, two people will be fighting over a particular spot. Is it at that spot there is an angel in that place? Or they are seeing Jesus, the Jesus who is coming, when Jesus comes, it's only there that he will come to. A woman fighting in full glare. For what? Fighting over a preaching spot. When someone could have, it's not even good for the two of them to be there at a particular place. Because they will be talking and you will not be hearing the two of, of them at the same time. So you pitch your tent here. I pitch my tent over there. You can tell it's so large. Even if there are 1,000 preachers, everybody will be accommodated. And you're preaching to people. They are looking at you. You are fighting. What, what are you showing? You are definitely not a, 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 a preacher of righteousness. You are not a Christian in the first place. You are not a Christian. Which soul are you going to win? The people you are talking to at the bus stops, they are going to work. They have seen you. Oh, they are looking at you now. Oh, so this person can do this, eh? It's like when your pastor tells you, don't do this, don't do that, and you find him or her doing it. You say, ah, even you? People were looking at them. Look at the woman, so furious. She knelt and she was cursing the guy. And that one was moving around, also doing the same thing. And you call yourselves preachers. These ones are just after their stomach. Stomach infrastructure. That's what you are looking at here. After their stomach. Or maybe there's a particular person that comes to drop money at that, part, at that place. Otherwise, why would they fight? Is it that that place is so decorated or what? It's an open place. A bus stop. People are passing and looking at you and you are displaying. As if you are acting a movie. It's a shame. A big shame. They that worship him, the Lord says, must, must worship him in spirit and in truth. 
You have to show example. That thing you say you're preaching, you show it. Let people see it in your behavior. You have to walk the talk. Not do as I say, not as I do. No. Now we want to do as you do, not only as you say. So if you are a preacher of righteousness, you preach the gospel, you live the gospel. You live it. So this is somebody's mother and somebody's wife. I mean, assuming your husband is passing and your children are passing, they will just see their mother. Eh? Fighting a man. A man. And this one, if it's somebody's uh, uh, husband, that is it. My husband has gone to work. This is it too. Fighting like a conductor. You know, when, you are, when they owe you change. To give you the change is, is a problem. Your balance is a problem. That is exactly what these people were doing there. You call the name of God. You live that way. Let people see it. Even, even without you saying anything, let them see it from the way you behave that this one actually is a Christian. You cannot be a Christian and be living anyhow. Especially when you are preaching it, carrying your megaphone from one place to the other. People are looking at you. These are the ones that they will be there. A woman will pass. She's wearing a pair of trousers. They say, mm, this one is going to hell. They will see somebody with a... Um, you have your you have dreadlocks. They say, ah, this one is already condemned. These are the people that, that do that. That's the kind of preaching you see, you hear from these ones. If they could fight in public, that is it. I have watched these clips several times. Honest. I have watched it. I have watched it. And oh, I just come to one conclusion. These ones are not even born again. They are not. Because if you are, you will imitate Christ. Yes, you will. There are no two ways about it. If the guy says, this is my spot, you leave him. You go somewhere else. You also, ca you also catch your fish there. You're already, you have, you're already a fisher of men. You will catch fish. The fish is everywhere. That is it, my people. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think of these people? What do you think of them? Let's know what you think, please. Drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're here for the first time, kindly remember to subscribe to my channel. I need your support and your encouragement. Subscription is free. Enable the notification bell also to get uh, notified each time I drop a new video. Thank you so much. God bless you. Please keep safe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.